Hello, this is Jason Williams with Feet First Orthotic Lab. We are going to do a demonstration here on casting technique in a foam box. Okay, so we'll get started here. Typically, open one side of the box up so that we can keep the excess out of the way. Have the patient sitting in the chair. Let's get everything in before we have them push down or help us. Hopefully, they're not going to help us. Um, making sure everything's at 90 degrees. We can apply a little pressure to the lateral aspect of the knee, manipulating the subtalar joint, and then pressing into the foam box all the way to the bottom as far as we can go. Again, we don't want them to help. We would like for them to just relax. I'm still applying pressure at the knee, pushing all the toes all the way down, and I'm gonna go back with the over top of the dorsum of the forefoot pushing over top the first metatarsal, fifth metatarsal. We want to make sure everything's completely depressed. Go ahead and lift up. And there's our cast completely compressed into the foam box. Again, we'll repeat the process on the other side. Making sure everything's at 90 degrees. If it's a shorter patient, you may want them to slide to the front of the chair so that you can achieve the 90 degree angle that we're looking for. Manipulating the subtalar joint here. If you need to increase the arch to get the subtalar neutral, you can apply pressure to the lateral aspect of the knee. If it's an, a subinating patient, you can apply a little pressure to the medial aspect of the knee to try to correct and go the other way so we can get to neutral. Majority of the time, it'll be pressure on the lateral aspect of the knee to, in stabilizing the subtalar joint. You notice I'm putting a lot of force to make sure that we get everything completely into the foam box. We want to be all the way down from hind foot to forefoot. Okay, lift. At this time, I'll take a look at the plantar surface of the foot, see if we have any calloused areas. He has a little bit of callus here on the fifth metatarsal. You can feel a little thicker there, so we can go into the foam box. And actually, fifth metatarsal, put a little indentation in here so that we can have an offload here for that fifth metatarsal head. So we'll take a look at the right foot. We've got little thick callusing here, maybe not so much here on the fourth, but you can see a little bit of a callus, but majority is gonna be on the lateral side here around the fifth metatarsal. And maybe a little something here on the heel. Okay, so we can address that here in the box. Again, by marking this, you wanna make sure we mark this on the paperwork and mark it in the box. And there's a little spot back here that we can put a little depression to have an offload in that little spot he has on his heel as well. So therefore, when we get it to the lab, we can make sure that everything is completely down in the foam box and uh, you have a very good cast. That's it. Thanks for uh, viewing this video and we'll look forward to seeing your orders.